Got you, Iguana. All right, we have an Iguana over here. He's just on the other side of this tree. Of course, he can turn around and run up the tree, but we're going to try to noose him before he gets a chance to do that. It'll probably be tricky. Let's see. broke my breakaway tape so we use breakaway tape so that they don't break our wire so the tape broke off so that he could still stay on the leash of a wire and we got you Gwenna get on this side and you'll have the of the light See now you see me. Where is this? Is like the third largest amoeba I've ever gotten. Giant green amoeba, invasive species here in South Florida. We caught him on a glue trap doing that glue trapping we do for baby iguanas. We will not let it go because it's an invasive species. He's a really nice looking male too with blue on his legs and tail. They even get the big jowls when they're a dominant male like the uh, iguanas do. So they're really cool with their little snake tongue. Really awesome eyes. From South America, one of our 56 established reptiles and amphibians that are invasive here in South Florida. This is a really big amoeba. Like, this boy is really big. Look at that. He's over 12 inches. So we'll try to find him a home before we put him down. Now we have gutter iguanas, right? Straight out the gutter. So, <laughs> these iguanas, they go up the gutter and sit up on the roof. You can hear them in the gutter when we do this. Hear him? He came out, he came out. He's on the roof. He's on the roof. There. Hang on. Stay still. Oh, he went up the roof. All right, we might need to get the ladder. He's up on the roof at the top now. Let me make sure there's no more in the gutter. I think he was the last one in that gutter, so he's on the roof now. We're gonna come back. Let's check this one.
a three pointer? Yeah, right. Three points. Jessica here Swish. with Iguana Solutions. We're getting back on the roof. There's an iguana right there at the edge, peeking over at us. We just chased him out of the drainage system on this building. Look at this iguana shit up here. So, iguana. Yeah, you off. Oh, he dove! He dove! He's in the trash can! He's in the trash can! Go get him! He's in the green trash can! Grab him! He's gotta climb up the side! Got him! Trash can iguana! waited for me to come get him, huh? Fancy boy with his rostral horns. Think of those little nose horns. That was impossible. I kept hiding behind the brake. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Call this. Shook it off, it wasn't all the way on the seat. <laughs> 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 well, that was funny, but you had it. There's a big boy oh. right here on my right laying in the grass that thinks I can't see.
two. We're gonna keep our eye on the other two. Let's start ducking down. He knows he's been spotted, that big boy over there. Oh, he's all wrapped up. He's completely wrapped in the wire. Keep an eye on the other two because they'll sneak off while you're dealing with the first iguana. If you get on the other side of me, you'll be able to see it better. Boy out of here. Let go, big boy. Our breakaway tape broke again, so I'm going to have to retape it. I expected to break away with every single one of these. It saves your pole, though. This iguana is really annoying with how it's holding on to everything. I wonder if I have tape. Man, I couldn't keep up with her. I can't believe she just ran this iguana down. You chase him out. We shake the acacias. That's these palms. They come running out. When they go in the acacias, they can't really climb them. They just hide in the middle. So you can go in and just pull them out. If you're, if you keep up with them. Got you, Iguana. Pull it up. Getting ready for breeding. All right. Let's go shake a couple more out. Got you, Iguana.